Namaskar. I'm Sri Iyer of P Gurus, and this is a special morning broadcast. We normally have our hangouts in the evening, but this concerns India's markets, in particular, National Stock Exchange, and in particular, an ex CEO, Chitra Ramakrishna, and what SEBI, the organization that is supposed to be the voice of the shareholders, has done and, and or has not done. Um, we are going to have a, an expert who has been following this for several years join us. His name is Palaksha. He wrote a book called Market Mafia. I'm holding it in front of you. Uh, this has been a critical success. We'll hear from him as to how well the book is also doing. So first, let us welcome Palaksha for the first time on P Guru's platform. Palak, Namaskar and welcome to P Guru's channel. Hello, Sri. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me. Huh. So let's first talk about um, your articles in Hindu Business Online. They have been setting the markets on fire. I mean, literally, because there is some very interesting stuff that revelations that have come in the SEBI order that you have brought to light. And many have followed you and they have also started writing articles today. Mint has something, uh, financial express and so on and so forth. But you are the ones who had the honors of being out with it first. And you have said some very interesting observations. You've made some very interesting observations. As far as I am concerned, I can tell you that it is the curse of India that it never gets the finance minister right, nor does it get people right in the uh, you know departments that finance ministry that come under the finance ministry. You have a history major as a governor of RBI. You have a generalist as the chairman of SEBI, you have a, um, a marketing person or a CA who heads, headed NSC, but never somebody who has to have the technical news to be able to handle the challenges of the job. So when you put something in, in, in computer parlance, we call it garbage in, garbage out. So I am not at all surprised with the way SEBI puts out its orders. Even in the one when they they uh, find thousand crores to NSC on the co-location scam, they very conveniently forgot to mention the word fraud. I mean, I I have I'm yet to come across somebody who has been you know who committed a crime a crime proceeds of crime itself was uh, you know a big number in hundreds of crores, and then the agency that is supposed to you know pass strictures doesn't put the word fraud and till, till today Ravi Narayan and Chitra Ramakrishna who are both indicted as part of that co-location scam have not paid a single paisa and the, the, the day this order came I really lambasted Sari and nothing has changed the same chairman the same incompetent income poops and, and better still the finance ministry also doesn't want to change its ways so you you have you know, one of the worst performing uh, ministries in this government, and yet people don't seem to matter. People don't seem to complain. I, I, I am at a loss to understand how a country which wants to become a $5 trillion economy in two, three years can get there when you have so many incompetents left, right, and center. Wherever I see only, I only see incompetence. But somehow it is going on. So anyway, let's get back to Tell us, walk us through what happened and who is this <laughs> yogi <laughs> that, uh, you know, is mentioned in, in Chitra Ramakrishna's uh, emails, I believe. And and straight off, since I've been also covering, uh, you know, in P Gurus, I've written a book about it called C Company. So I have, in my guess, I have two names, but I let the people who are watching this write in, in comments who they think this yogi is. Definitely he's not in not from Himalayas, that is one thing. Second thing is, he is Tamil speaking, that is another thing. So if with all this data, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sure many of our uh, viewers can hazard a guess as to who this yogi is. So walk us through what happened and uh, how did you read this whole situation? Looks like, um, you know, Sebi is uh, playing a fixed match. That's how I see it. Absolutely, Sri. Uh, I will tell you, as a journalist, I have always seen 
that sensational stories like these don't die down until a full investigation is carried out i started as a crime reporter and in those years i always saw uh, the police here in mumbai trying to cover up uh, scams i started reporting with oil scam and i always saw that the police was trying to cover up by registering uh, you know very weak cases and letting go of the accused but these are the real stories that journalists like me uh, want you know and we can really see through where the cover up is uh, going on so it is the same thing that has happened with nse give me 2 3 minutes and i will put everything that you have raised into perspective so they yes. want uh, just give me one second yes we are taking questions as long as it is on the topic and and palak you have the floor my friend go ahead thank you so they want to make india a vishwa guru but we are becoming a laughing stock and the full credit for this goes to the securities and exchange board of india since the super regulator of indian financial markets has miserably failed in its duty by indulging in a cover up of a massive financial market scandal that has no parallel globally or in the history of capital markets the saga involving the national stock exchange its former md and ceo chitra ramakrishna's management mismanagement and collocation scam is a bubble that has been allowed to grow bigger and bigger by omission and dereliction of duty by sebi officials and the entire board of nse i will tell you chitra's appointment as nse md and ceo flaunted all the rules and sebi turned a blind eye sebi wonders in its show cause notice to nse and chitra as to how she was appointed as md and ceo of nse but the same regulator does not question the board the selection committee to find out whose recommendation was chitra what chitra was doing as md and ceo by passing confidential data and information as uh, sebi has itself observed in its order uh, this was a criminal breach of trust the board all its high profile members are all responsible to oversee what chitra was doing but they allowed her to run the exchange like her personal kingdom for such a criminal breach of trust sebi has not pressed any charge of fraudulent practices against chitra so forget that the regulator was going to take any action against the board in fact deta- details uh, allowing chitra's mismanagement and the support she enjoyed at the highest level has all been suppressed with a brutal force of power what has come out in sebi's friday order is a smoke screen people uh, please note that chitra ramakrishna is being made out to be another parveen babi uh, the bollywood heroine you know who who was seen as man- mentally challenged but ye kya hua ye kab hua na janu main na jaane wo that one right <laughs> yeah yeah right but i am telling you chitra is not mentally deranged let me warn you she and her accomplices who are all high profile people are charles shobraj she has given them and sebi has given them a cover fire in its order they have created this entire smoke screen to hide a massive financial cum sex scandal at nse sebi is complicit in this game of cover up you require an independent probe by either the enforcement directorate cbi or a special investigative team do danda chitra ko padega and in minutes she will vomit the names of her handlers who are exploiting uh, nse and holding to ransom such a institution that the world is watching now making chitra look like a mental case behind making chitra look like a mental case there is a legal brain at work who is trying to save high profile people behind the nse scandal sebi is trying to separate Uh, this mismanagement of chitra from the collocation scam shri i am telling you these are same side uh, two sides of the same coin shri they cannot separate her mismanagement from the collocation scam 
You know, uh, I am. I can tell you, I'm most disappointed by the current SEBI, SEBI chairman. I have already flagged many times the way SEBI audited the ownership of NDTV. By the way, that rascal is still roams free. That rascal is still roaming free. Only thing is now they're probably uh, not allowed him to leave the country. And 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 and. Why can't the SEBI do a black and white investigation of the data presented before he? Whose side are you guys, SEBI? You are supposed to be on the side of the common man who's taking your word and investing in the stock market, thinking that you have his interests. Where, where do I find, where do I start finding the, the, the flaws, uh, Palak? This organization is an utter nincompoop. If you want to know what the meaning of that word, you look it up on dictionary. Many of you, I, I'm afraid you may even know it. All of you are IAS officers. You prepare well for these things. You'll know what that means. SEBI is utterly incompetent. They put, and half of finance ministry is same, same league. Most of them probably are also in on this. Who knows? Because I see the same set of characters coming again and again. Doesn't matter how many... Uh, you know, uh, scandals and scams that we uncover and publish in P Gurus with proof, the same rascals are hanging around. Nobody wants to leave. Why? Because in my opinion, Palak, I don't know if you agree with me or not. In my opinion, everybody is waiting for a payout. A payout will come when NSC goes IPO. And because they want the NSC to go IPO, these are all ways to clean up NSC and, you know, put Pick, uh, lipstick on a pick to make it look pretty so that people will go and buy the IPO shares of NSE. The pink media is only too happy to go along because they'll throw some pieces of bread to them. I'm sorry to be very scathing. See. It might also hurt your see. feelings, Palak. See. But see, no, this is see, how I, I see it. This is how I see it. I've written about it extensively. It is my biggest disappointment with the Modi government that after doing meticulous research, after counting and, and looking at every corner and presenting the data, still, this government doesn't want to touch it. And not only that, see, see. If, if you want to, if you don't want to touch it, that is fine. But in your manifesto in 2014, you said you're going after everyone. See, Why do you say one you. thing and not do it? See, let me tell you, I think this government lacks the will and understanding of what really is going on in the financial markets. I am telling you, I have been tracking NSE for 15 years. When I started following them, within few months, I come to understand that there is massive uh, scandal going on inside the exchange. The management was extremely arrogant. I don't think that, I don't think that arrogance has changed even now. I will tell you something, Sri. You know, institution has a right to do IPO. And no, no, I no, no, think, just, just I one second. Think... Palak, Palak, one second. You are absolutely right. I have had invitations to many people who are actually having, uh, you know, interactions in the Indian stock markets. And they have told me the same thing. Mujhe NSC se panga nahi lene ka. These guys are vindictive. And they, are, they added one more word. Uh, that starts with a B and ends with an S and it has several letters. I let the users fill it up. Go ahead. See, I'm telling you, an institution has a right to do IPO. So I don't think there is a problem with that. I think you said, you know, they are cleaning up before the IPO. I'm telling you, Sri, they are not cleaning up before the IPO. They are covering up deeper and deeper. What they need to do is they actually need to clean up. Now, coming, you know, you, this simple order of SEBI has destroyed entire reputation of Indian financial markets that it was being run on the rule of law and principles. This order, collocation scam, Chitra's behavior, uh, the, the empathy of uh, uh, National Stock Exchange Board, uh, SEBI's cover-up shows that Indian markets are not uh, being run on the rule of law. They are run by a cabal. They are run by all these tie suit executives who are, uh, you know, who have created this bubble, 
who are trying to cover up every scandal that has happened at NSE. I will tell you few simple points that will tell that will show how this order is such a weak order and it is made in such a way that it will get thrashed in higher courts. I will. I, I have noted down certain points. I will tell you. The order finds that false information, incomplete information was shared with SEBI. Also, it concludes concealment of information and abuse of power by Chitra and others. Why, if, if that is the case, then why SEBI did not initiate any action under prevention of fraudulent practices? It has not done that. The SAT is going to ask them. The Supreme Court is going to ask them. The order concludes that Chitra shared sensitive and confidential information with unknown person. Since NSE has such information of listed companies, why action was not initiated under insider trading? Why SEBI did not track or how SEBI failed to track the IP address of the unknown person? If Chitra could not meet, if Chitra says that she could not meet the unknown person, but the order reveals, her emails reveal that she has met the unknown person several times. It looks like they've also met her, they have also met outside of India. Outside India. It is very blatant. It is very clear. It is a complete cover up operation at the highest level. What I can see is that this current government lacks the understanding or they lack the will to go behind the real culprits. The reasons, I don't want to go into it. I don't know why they are doing this. But it is not a clean up. Instead, it is a cover up is what I can tell you. Can you imagine any exchange in the world uh, being run by a proxy? There is no Baba. This is all a cock and bull story. This is all proxy uh, you know, somebody proxy who's running the exchange, who knows the confidential data of the exchange, who knows all the details of the exchange. In my book, The Market Mafia, I have revealed that two professors, in, I have revealed that two professors, uh, Ajay Shah, Suzanne Thomas, their entire family uh, was stealing data from NSE for more than 10 years. I have revealed they designed an entire scheme to steal data from NSE. Now, you know, people are doing such hard work in the stock market by studying fundamentals and technical analysis for years. And here the data is being was given out by the exchange on a platter to some cabal, some operators who were rigging India stock market. Where is where is a criminal investigation into this? It is not happening. You know, Ramalinga Raju, this is a much bigger scam than what Ramalinga Raju could do. Billions exactly. of dollars are flowing in and out of NSE every minute as we talk. So, um, look at, yeah, yeah, Sri. I'm sorry, finish your thought. I thought you were done. No, all, see, I want to say is that there has to be an investigation either by a special investigative team which uh, takes into account the fact that SEBI has also failed in its duty miserably because SEBI has uh, allowed to go, you know, let all these things grow into a much bigger bubble. I will tell you, SEBI does micromanagement of exchanges. It decides the salary of the people. It decides, it has a say into who will get appointed, who will not get appointed. It has a say into everything what happens in an exchange. How is it? That SEBI and the board of NSE missed all these things. I will tell you some one more important thing. There is something called as data uh, DLP, data leak prevention uh, system, which is there in the stock exchanges. NSE's data leak prevention system detected on time that Chitra was passing this financial information with, uh, you know, to an obscure person outside the exchange. They detected this, her emails, this yogi, so-called yogi's emails, emails were blocked by the system itself. The yogi complained to Chitra that I cannot get your emails and my emails are also blocked. Chitra told, uh, I think, Sankarsan Banerjee from NSE to look into it. And then the email exchanges restarted. Now, you know, NSE disposed of 
चित्रास चित्रास पर्सनल लैपटॉप आनंद सुब्रमण्यम्स पर्सनल लैपटॉप एस ई वेस्ट हु डिड दिस विल सेबी नॉट इन्वेस्टिगेट इज दिस नॉट अ क्रिमिनल ब्रीच ऑफ ट्रस्ट अंडर कंपनीज एक्ट दिस इज दिस इज दिस इज द बिगेस्ट फाइनेंशियल स्कैंडल इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ कैपिटल मार्केट एनीवेयर and the government of day of the day is lacking the will i don't know why <laughs> so um a couple of uh, data points that you mentioned in fact you in my opinion you quickly went over the best part of your uh, speech very very fast before i could catch you but i'll come to that a little bit later stang hang on guys there is something really good coming down the pipeline but first i have to ask you a few questions. i want to tell you one more thing before i forget i want go to go ahead go ahead go ahead sebi and nse officials you know if you check their committees they are the same officials who are at some time part of nse who are at some time part of sebi so they keep on going here and there they keep on supporting each other you scratch my back i scratch your back they are not going to do a proper investigation if you want to clean up the system you want to become a vishwa guru you want to uh, you know be that leading market in the world you want to take on singapore dubai everything you need to clean up the system and not cover up what is going on is cover up by the same officials who are supposed to you know guard the markets their incompetence <laughs> is clearly seen in the order look at their yes. orders what happened to the co location orders every order got held up and i have pointed out in my book the clear conflict of interest of sebi officials in this order i will tell you the biggest conflict of interest they there is one official called as v narasimhan of nse who was show cost by sebi in 2019 a show cost notice was issued to him by sebi in 2019 few months or a year down sebi appoints him as uh, a senior member of nism an education institute which is run by sebi sebi says it is an independent uh, institution sri what a joke this is i will tell you, how is this an independent uh, institution sebi officials are on the governing board of that institution can you believe that somebody else will take decisions in a sebi run institution they are show causing a person they are and and uh, you know they are taking that same person as a senior official in their own institute i will tell you one more incident i in the past 4 years i have highlighted a similar data theft that was happening at nse a similar thing was happening at mcx now there was uh, one person uh, you know who was named in the forensic report and he had to resign from the exchange lot of drama played out this fellow got employed with nism <laughs> what, what well, sebi you are, sebi, you, sebi you are, is sheltering sebi is sheltering all these camsters yes and yes and then we are expecting that sebi is going to do an honest job i don't think sebi is doing an honest job <laughs> more than that i see I, it does not surprise me that sebi is not doing an honest job what surprises me is what is this government doing they don't have the will or they don't have the understanding is what even if you don't have the understanding i am telling you i have covered uh, police so closely even a small havaldar uh, even a small smallest of smallest cop uh, you know in the police what they will do is they will bring the accused to the police station start interrogating them here sebi has the power to arrest sebi has all the powers it wants uh you know to take uh, action against anybody in the country they have the power to arrest they have not done that they have not uh, you know taken this matter as a criminal matter it is a criminal breach of trust they have not done that they have not uh, you know so what i think what the ed or the cbi can do is bring chitra subramanyam for a breakfast at 9 pm at 10 pm they will understand who was this yogi baba i can tell you i can clearly see narrow down this uh, narrow down as to who was this yogi baba there are two criteria the the biggest criteria is the yogi or who, the so called person unknown person has to be a very high profile person because the entire board listened to him when uh, you know he said that chitra should be made the md and ceo of the exchange the entire board was the entire board obeyed him 
So he has to be a very high profile person. Second, he has to have a very, very good understanding or an inside knowledge of India's financial markets. Third, it goes without saying that he has to be uh, Tamilian. <laughs> so, these, 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 these guys are giving Tam Brahms a bad rap, both of them, okay? I'm very, very upset about no, that. No, uh, but that, Tam keep Brahms that aside. Are very intelligent people, but in this, in this saga, it comes out they are using their intelligence in the wrong manner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, just just for uh, data points, right? The co-location scam started under Ravi Narayan, isn't it? I will tell you, I, I believe the scam, the scandal at NSC started way back in 95. Because I have revealed in my book, I have revealed in my book that the exchange was sharing data with PhD so-called professors who lagged PhD certificates, their PhD certificates are all uh, falsified. They don't have certificates. So when you are taking those people on your committees, on your, uh, you know, you're sharing data with them, you're their uh, brother-in-law, you're making him uh, head of surveillance. <laughs> and, and, and I will tell you, see what happened. This uh, brother-in-law of uh, the people whom I'm pointing out, was also supported by the Baba, by the way. This uh, so-called yogi or guru may want, uh, to, uh, ordered Chitra to give him more responsibilities. And he has been showcased in the co-location scam. So well, the uh, links viewers, are very clear. Yes, and, and, and viewers, and, and, brother okay, Coming back to sister, your, your question. Everything... Coming back to your question <laughs> of when did this, uh, uh, this co-location scam start? I think it started something sometime in 2008-9. I will tell you a very interesting point. Uh, in 2009 or somewhere, I have mentioned a proper date in my book, but uh, you know, National Stock Exchange suffered a, a massive crash of uh, 900 points. Nifty fell down by, uh, crashed by 900 points and it hit a lower circuit. Now the rules required that... Uh, the exchange remained shut for a longer time, but a very senior politician called up the then MD and CEO Ravi Naren on his phone. And he said that you start the exchange in 15 minutes. <laughs> when, when the politician, when the politician was asked that, you know, this flaunts all the SEBI rules, the exchange cannot be started in 15 minutes. He said the SEBI chairman was on board. When the politician <laughs> Uh, had to step down from his position. Sebi revealed in one of the uh, Sebi revealed that they, they did not know anything about the communication between the MD and CEO of the exchange, Ravi Narain, and the politician. Now this is the way the exchange was being run. So what can you expect? The Babas were running the exchange for so long. <laughs> and how are they separating this Chitra's mismanagement of the exchange from co-location scam? I am telling you, it is not separate. This well, scam, you, if you, I, again and again, I am telling you, Sri, if they don't clean this up, it is going, it is growing into a bigger bubble, and India will remain as a laughing stock. Whatever volumes you generate, you know, everybody knows how these volumes are being generated. I can tell you. Just look at the kind of derivative manipulation that is happening in the market. Yeah, uh, uh, somebody has chimed in. I want to show you something, and and he is using some highfalutin language. Also, you seem to conflate co-location scam with Chitra Sebi report. What exactly is criminal in Chitra Sebi report other than she lacking the professional integrity to share information with an individual? What are you smoking, dude? Uh, Which part of what have... he just? No, this came just recently. So I'm saying, yeah, you already yeah, explain the criminality. No, no, I request all these people. I request all and, these and, people. And, and we... also, a rascal should put their name and ask. If it is one of no, the guys okay. who is working in SEBI, I at least know which one is a real idiot. No, no, that's okay, Sri. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> let the viewers ask whatever they want. I am ready. I, I told I am ready to be challenged on anything that I have written in my book. I think your viewer, viewers and whoever this is, who is asking these sort of questions and that what is criminal... Uh, you know, Chitra, Chitra was just 
uh, lacking the competence and telling you this is what she is being made out to be uh, mentally deranged or lacking competence i'm telling you she's not that all the you know she is charles shobra as these people are trying to cover it up i will tell you what is criminal in this passing in nse is the first level regulator after sebi passing key financial information of the exchange to an unknown person who or, or to a disguised person is a criminal breach data that was stolen from the exchange under the guise of research uh, you know back and they presented agreements which had no stamp uh, no date no notary to share uh, to share the data and you know sebi has accepted such agreements as valid this is criminal in nature this is criminal breach of trust you know so many retail investors are trading in the markets you know they come with so much of anticipation they believe the world believes that india is run by uh, you know a rule of law and principles where are the principles here the md and ex- md and ceo of your exchange is sharing confidential data she is writing swami ji the exchange runs on thy uh, ashirwadams Oh, oh by the way uh, i know the name of the person and and also for those of you who are still guessing you only guess one name you haven't guessed the second name this person looks pretty pious i believe uh, he has been spotted wearing very uh, orthodox uh, uh, you know tamram veshti and all that stuff and and see this is the thing you know uh, looks can <laughs> if looks can deceive that's what this is but uh, also viewers uh, whatever is being discussed here is contained either in palaksha's market mafia book or in my c company book or in a series of articles in p gurus all we are trying to do here is connect the dots in fact palaksha's book market mafia essentially took the banana in fact he paid his own money to go and buy the banana of corruption from the market he peeled the banana okay he peeled the banana is a real nice banana and he gave it to the government please eat this is how competent the finmin is and and i think the buck stops somewhere i don't know where the buck needs to stop but i know those people who are listening you guys all really need to understand that if you don't know what stock market is or the kind of complexity that is there now with derivative trading futures trading commodity futures trading and what kind of complex algorithms are being run on these things uh, just for the data point i don't remember if i have written this in my book or not weren't the logs of the co location when they used to arbitrarily switch server servers back and forth in the name of load balancing i find it utterly i mean for you know i have 37 patents I, i'm starting to laugh the moment i read how nse simulated load balancing by arbitrarily turning off and on servers i heard that the logs of all these things were also lost is that true see i will tell you uh, you know there is nothing so much complex in this scam especially after sebi's friday order you know people are saying this is such a complex scam you know hard to understand cbi has said that cbi is not moving ahead with its investigation because they believe that it is a very complex scam simple thing i am telling you shri anybody lowest of low level of police officer will know that if you are passing confidential data of an exchange like the national stock exchange where billions of dollars of uh, you know are flowing every minute inside and out and there that exchange's confidential data is going out it is all there on black and white now on the emails simple thing has to be done is the person has to be interrogated by uh, you know agency that uh, that actually looks into criminal matters and you cannot trust sebi in this it is complicit sebi i will tell you why sebi is complicit because when this collocation started sebi looked the other way it did not keep a check on the systems no permission i have mentioned i have revealed in my book that permissions 
uh, you know, several permissions are required from SEBI to start such a complex system. No permissions were taken by National Stock Exchange. So SEBI is complacent in this. How do you expect, uh, you know, CBI has mentioned SEBI officials in their FIR, unknown officials also. So how do you expect SEBI to do an investigation? It is conflicted. So I think the best way, there is no rocket science in this street. The only thing you have to do is you have to pick up Chitra, bring her to your office, interrogate her in the police style. Do danda, Sri, do danda. And don't even use danda. Give me two hours and Chitra is going to tell you the name of who this, who, you know, were her handlers and who were stealing the data from National Stock Exchange. I'm telling you again and again, either this government lacks the will to do this or the understanding. So more than understanding, I think it is the will to do. And I don't know why it is the bureaucrats or the politicians at the highest place who don't have the will or the bureaucrats are misguiding the government in some manner. I don't know that if they are doing that, then the government is digging its own grave because as I said, you know, this is all what laughable, laughable. The way SEBI is covering up all these things. No, your exchange MD is sharing data, confidential data. You yourself are mentioning in your order. But for that, you are saying no loss was caused for to the exchange. And hence, there is no criminal breach in all these things. Who is going to buy these arguments? Yes. And uh, those, those are the two books that I mentioned. And uh, these are available in Amazon. Uh, we are not plugging our book. These have been around for a long time. This is just in case you want to get to the details and to the depth of it. Uh, by the way, viewers, my first foray into writing was in financial instruments and, and relate things related to finance. And, and uh, so C Company was early writing on for me. And, and the, the point I'm trying to make here is this is stealing in plain sight, stealing in plain sight. This was started by the UPA. This should have been ended by the NDA uh, under the Modi government. But I can't understand for God's sake. Now they are in their eighth year now. 2022 is in their eighth year. And they still haven't gotten their handle on this one. See, and and see, I just don't. See, I ahead. want to tell you one or two things. Uh, you know, you don't know whether the system is completely clean even now. You don't know it's what not. is going. It is we assume it is not because the kind of shutdowns that have been happening at NSE for hours, there is no conclusion in that why it happened. You know, so I think all these things need to be investigated. As I'm again and again saying, lack of investigation and lack of a proper cleanup is allowing this bubble to grow even bigger. The kind, you know, SEBI blatantly says in its report that it is not causing it did not cause any harm to the exchange or the public. Can you believe all this is not causing harm to the exchange or the public? Sharing of confidential data is not causing any harm. Then why there is insider trading norms? Then why, why uh, you know, sharing of event, then why did you put uh, Ramling or Raju inside? If it did not cause any loss to web. So, uh, you know, to the companies he was running, I think, I think this is blatant cover up by SEBI. They put out um, they put out such orders late in the evening so that you know ne nobody will be able to read it. They put out such an order, club it up with uh, another uh, you know high profile order, thinking that people will go behind uh, you know those orders and don't not look at this order. I mean, it is all such a naive. Uh, it's all naive, you know. If SEBI <laughs> thinks like that, and I am not going to leave this story. I have there are several. People who have complained against me, who have tried to call me, say things. I am not leaving such sensational story. I am going to continue with these stories and I am thoroughly enjoying as the bubble grows bigger. I think I am going to get bigger stories. Yeah, one, one, so, one, we always, at least I am very good at giving unasked. Uh, so one more point I wanted to make this exchange. Even see, I will tell you in this order, you will find names of people who have been on the board of the exchange for 15, 20 years, 15, 20 years. They have observed uh, Chitra Ramakrishna. They have ob observed the working of the exchange. You are not holding those people responsible. Why? 
uh, why aren't you questioning them? They've been on the board for 15 years. You're not questioning them. You call them. It is their duty to oversee what MD CEO is doing. It is, it is such a big public institution. It is actually a, the, the pride of the nation, National Stock Exchange. So before, I think NSE has all the right to do IPO, but a cleaning up is required, which is not happening even now. And it is a cover up by SEBI. It is a cover up by the board of the exchange at every level, even now. And SEBI and is showing us only a few emails. Where Where is the uh, audit of her phone? SEBI is saying, you know, in, in I have read orders in co-location. SEBI says that, you know, accused are not giving us their phone. They are, uh, you know, they are deleting the memory from the phone. Can you imagine? Such destruction of evidence is a criminal act. Why don't why, why don't you go and file an FIR? I remember C.B. Bhave when he was the chairman of SEBI. He filed an FIR in BKC police station just because somebody forged a letter. Okay, that was a criminal offense. But this destruction of evidence is not a criminal offense. Passing of confidential information is not a criminal offense. Uh, you know, data theft is not a criminal offense for SEBI. No FIR being filed for that. No ED investigation, no CBI investigation, nothing. Everybody is silent because achha, when Chitra leaves the organization, she is being praised. People are saying, people are saying, uh, you know, the board members say that she took the exchange to another level. What level? <laughs> we, we all know, we all know what level. She's been given 50 crore rupees for her three year service as MD and CEO with all the severance pay and everything. And what is the fine that SEBI has imposed on her? Three crore rupees. <laughs> Was there any underhand, under under the table dealing in imposing just three crore fine? Why is the person not behind bars? I think she should be picked up by ED, CBI, independent agency. I think there should, there should be a special investigative team investigation. I and they sh SEBI cannot be trusted in this matter. Yes, you are taking and, and 50 crore rupees in three years by doing all this mismanagement. You're fined three, three crore rupees. What is this? Sri. So, um, unasked for advice again, should the ED or CBI decide to investigate, you are you can easily figure out what who the person is. I'll be happy to give my time free. <laughs> to tell you just to look into which particular article or which particular page of my book or Palak's book we have mentioned about this individual and this person's feats and 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 it is not that difficult in fact the the way the reason cbi thinks it is complicated is because they think that this is like you know uh, some simple crime thing this is it is not complicated crime. it is not complicated Shri. you not have destroyed the evidence just just take them to the cleaners for destroying the evidence. That is all you need. That's all you need. You forget CBI, even BKC police station cops will do such an investigation and find out who the yogi or the Baba was. I am telling you. <laughs> it will take no time for them. You forget CBI. You forget ED. <laughs> okay. But I, I, as I am telling you, I think more than the understanding, first thing is they lack the understanding. But I feel more than the understanding, they lack the will to do any investigation into this and this is what is making this bubble bigger even today i don't think things are cleaned up even of today it's not. all messy of course not of course not i have one question i'm dying of curiosity you mentioned it very quickly but i still remember so yeah. you said that uh, yogi wanted chitra to go to seashells with him uh -huh. right so uh -huh. what do you think <laughs> happened in seashells did they read the Ramayana? They have only met the yogi has mentioned we will we will spend a nice time on the beach. If you you know we'll swim together, we'll spend nice time on the beach. It shows <laughs> that the lady had completely surrendered. It shows complete surrender to the person. Guys, this is this is it, I, I can only hang my head in shame. That somebody who is supposed and, to be and Sebi does not even find out the IP address. 
from where it is coming you know i tried to email this yogi i put it on my twitter it bounced actually the email bounced but naturally you have allowed you know so many years for all these accused to destroy all the evidence and bits and pieces some orders you are coming out with you know uh, some information here some information there you think there were only four or five email exchanges between them i think if i am having gbs on tvs data i think sebi has 20 times more data than me either it has been destroyed completely or you know they are not paying heed to it or they are deliberately uh, i feel this is a massive cover up that's what i can say this is not a clean up this is a cover up you know um, i i have to also tell you that i was most disappointed when the one company the one company that sebi technical team caught with their hand in the cookie jar opg even uh, that they found nothing wrong with them i don't know they are not going behind them they are not going behind them are it's that, a cover that, viewers viewers i i'll tell you just because i'm i am so bloody frustrated because this is utter incompetence utter incompetence and and the sebi technical team headed by professor ashok junjunwala gave a very clear timelines he showed that these people were always getting preferential access this company called opg based out of delhi and and just two two minute two minutes please indulge me and i'll tell you what collocation scam is in terms of like mota mota okay the details are in the book i want you to read the book market mafia because i saw a question from a, a person saying that we have money invested through our mutual funds into the stock market what are we to do uh, palak will answer that question in just a minute but collocation is this you know many of you may have traveled abroad so when you land inside uh, in in delhi or mumbai whichever airport you land there will be like 10 counters where you can go and show your passport for immigration right there will be one person who will be looking and seeing which counter is having fewer number of people in the line and he will direct you to that line say go to go to counter number 14 go to counter number 20 something like that the idea is to balance the number of people on each line that is essentially what is load balancing you know how sebi, uh, how nsc did load balancing this load balancing is special hardware that you can buy off the shelf from the market you know how sebi did it not sebi sorry nsc did it what nsc did was they had this bunch of servers and they said okay we are going to make sure that these are load balanced and and <laughs> by load balancing what they would do is they would just turn the servers on randomly every day and they said ha ah, this is good enough this is load balancing this is good enough and the better part here is that anybody who got in first always got to look at everything coming on the ticker first they basically unless they don't trade on it it was their first first come first serve kind of thing and this is what the opg was accused of doing the data was presented again another case of banana being peeled and saying please eat and they didn't do it so i mean modi government shouldn't claim that you know they they have been very efficient and all that stuff when i when i just look at the financial uh, misdeeds of the people and they are just still roaming in broad daylight ajay shah that guy is still around susan thomas didn't get a phd she has even also you know guided many other phd students she continues what is this see i will she she i want to point out a few uh, big observations from this order you know people are saying that there are a lot of people who enjoy tamil songs so i mean you know they can be chitra's guru but i will tell you this guru or the so called yogi who was guiding chitra was not an ordinary tamil this if you go by the order this guru knew who in the prime minister's office uh, you know should be uh, cajoled for getting certain permissions this guru knew the name of that person this guru knew who the prime minister will listen to you know for certain favors second this guru also knew the inside working of the national stock exchange he knew 
you know how self listing is better for national stock exchange than going for any other kind of listing so this guru is not an ordinary tamil person who and who you know like to listen to tamil songs this guru is an insider into the affairs of the national stock exchange as well as he knows the bureaucracy he knows the political circles of new delhi very well he also knows the financial markets very well he also knows what nsc can achieve through self listing so this cannot be an ordinary person you know there are so <laughs> many hints there are so many hints you know and this is this this guru cannot be anand subramanyam i will tell you why anand subramanyam is not the person whom the board will listen to and appoint chitra as the md and ceo so this guru has to be someone very very powerful whom the entire board of nsc will listen to and appoint chitra as the md and the ceo <laughs> hey i have a question in in the course of the email somewhere it says this anand person is referred to as k a n c h a n kanchan kanchan yeah Huh. and you know, his you know wife not... his wife to wife is referred to as kanchana kanchan huh. and his wife is referred to as kanchana i see you know you know one thing though he is called as a straw he he the the guru says that kanchan is the straw and i am the suction so you have to warm it and <laughs> and the straw knows when to become a capillary and i will suck it out everything from there so so sebi has to pick up the straw <laughs> they 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 can pick up kanchan they can pick up kanchan they can pick up this anand subramanyam even they can interrogate it and they will come to know who was sucking out everything via the straw the cbi uh, has to pick up the ed has to pick up the police has to pick up and fir has to be filed right i am right, repeatedly right. saying this is all criminal breach of trust if if this is not criminal breach of trust see, then you tell me what is criminal breach of trust in a uh, in a company under the company's law if this is not criminal breach of trust i think every listed company will start doing this and nsc yeah. is a first level regulator <laughs> so i think well, all they need to do is suck out a lot of things from the straw kanchan <laughs> uh, i think um, so i guess our suggestion is that cbi and somebody in cbi who understands a little bit more in technical in depth detail this is you need to at least they destroy evidence there's absolutely no doubt about that for that the evidence to, itself is a criminal act that is a criminal uh, act of crime but this can be applied all the way back to the colocation scam also the same thing happened there also and and uh, the the whole thing was rigged from the day that the order of 1000 crores came i had a very fiery monologue after that where i said that this thing totally sucks because it's got so many holes that anybody can appeal and get away that's exactly what happened See, but my book, long... book reveals a lot my book reveals a lot i have not done any advertisement of my book uh, and uh, i don't think a lot of uh, media houses have picked it up or i don't know for whatever reasons but that's fine with me but my book no, reveals no. a lot no see here is the thing i think the book cost I, i i think this this order this order of sebi on friday is the icing on the uh, cake you know and and you don't need any technical expertise to decipher this scam any more because the scam because this one order of sebi has deciphered everything deciphered everything of whatever was mis whoever was uh, you know behind this mismanagement of nse behind the data theft you don't need any more technical expertise you just need to bring them in the uh, you just need to bring kanchan in first you need to uh, bring uh, shom chit shom as the swami called chitra you need to bring chit shom in and then shiromani himself will come in <laughs> it's not very difficult to guess who the person is not guys. very anyway. difficult see not very difficult yeah now no one 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 small thing <clears throat> there is a question but let me tell you there are not there are not there is not one suspect there are two suspects 
Right, right. We said two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We said two. There are possibilities are two, <laughs> not one. There, there, the so, possibility is two suspects. Yes. You have to figure out which one. Anyway, yeah. so a uh, more important thing, there is a question that I'm going to read out. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to scroll back and put it up here because this is a good question. And uh, I I just want you, you, you to weigh in first and then I will... Just one second. It was, ah, there it is. Usha Ravi wants to know, sir, what should the small investors do? We own shares of some companies, PMS mutual fund. fund. Do we have to close them? It looks very scary. Market is down by 1500 points today. What is? <laughs> what would you advise? I have an advice, but first I want to go with my guest. What would you advise, Pala? Uh, no, no, I don't think... Uh... I, I don't think you have to close down your PMS for, or, you know, your SIP for this. I think all you can do is write to SEBI, write to the government as an active investor to take action, to unravel the entire scam, to put everything in public domain. Uh, you know, facts are being suppressed. Data is being hidden. All that has to come in public domain. You have to see if you are an active investor, you, you, you know, you want this system to reward you, then I think you have to write to them to take action. If investors start writing to SEBI, I think SEBI has subverted even that system where complaints can be filed. Even, <laughs> even that has that case went to Supreme Court and sat and, uh, you know, SEBI got a bad name there. So, it's very, very little hope for the investors in such kind of a situation where you know the fence is eating the cop a crop <laughs> i think okay. i think it is the reputation of the government at stake i think it is the reputation of the country at stake india cannot become a vishwa guru just by going on public platforms and shouting india is a vishwa guru india will not become a vishwa guru you know people people are you know people are able to see through as to what uh, you know, where the situation is heading in the financial markets in India. See, small investors have started worrying now. So I think it is the government of the day that has to take the responsibility. Whoever has done whatever has happened, better investigate, go to the, I mean, put things out in public domain, bring those culprits out. I think that will restore the trust of public in India's institutions. I think NSC is a very, very important institution for the country. It is a very, uh, you know, the way NSC was created, I think it deserves respect because it the way it has grown. But the mismanagement uh, that, you know, this cabal, these people, this, uh, you know, this board and MD CEO, they have done, I think they need to be put uh, in the dock. Yes, and indeed. NSE and has grown. NSE, you know, these people will try to take credit saying that, you know, we have grown NSE. I am telling you, it is not they who have grown NSE. Bombay Stock Exchange was passing through, was witnessing similar kind of scandals by brokers where information was being leaked and all. And that is the reason people started trading on NSE. And that is the reason NSE started growing. It is the people who have made NSE big. It is not these officials who are taking all the credit for growing NSE. It is the public, it is the investors of this country who has who have made uh, NSE such a big institution. And it is the responsibility of SEBI and the government towards the investing public of this country to save them, to give them an institution which is clean of all this mismanagement and scams. Um, I have two cents to add and then we'll uh, wrap this up. Usha, I have a very simple suggestion. Don't put your money in mutual funds. You go to your local post office, ask them for Kisan Vikas Patra. They give you 10% return annually, but you have to put the money there for 10 years, but it is tax-free, I believe. Check those two things, 10% yield and tax-free. That means that the money that you get in 10 years, it doubles. You put two, two lakhs, it will become four lakhs and in 10 years. But at, at the end of four, year, four lakhs, that four lakhs is tax-free. If you can assure that, that's some place that you can look at. 10% is not a bad return. And it is safe. It is with the government. 
there is no nse there is no mutual fund nothing this is my two cents and last question uh, suboth wants to know do free markets typically tend to concentrate power in the hands of a few and if so can we ever get a solution to persona based problems what do you yes, think yes yes right. there is a solution there is a solution the solution is that constantly the clean up has to happen when you came to know in 2015 the clean up and, and this bjp government was in center the upa government was not in center when it came out in 2015 in the next few months or years they should have got to the bottom of this they ignored they ignored all these things and hence it was growing bigger it is growing bigger now so i think this clean up of the system should be constant and that is how i think you can prevent bigger scams from happening yes indeed and uh, i can also tell you uh, india has a wealth of economists financial people but unfortunately india doesn't appoint them in the places where they ought to be appointed and integrity this, integrity is very important integrity, integrity is, very, is important. very important to build trust in your organizations when you see so many uh, you know people are involved in such scandals i think you should you should just nip them in the bud or take them out from the organization when you see that sebi is trying to cover up at least find out at least you know you you try to overhaul sebi look at the mcx data scandal look at the mcx data theft scandal what has happened everybody is roaming free everybody is enjoying their perks and sebi is employing them in their own institutions does not the government think that you know all these things needs to be clean up all these controversies needs to be clean up cleaned up i think that is very important a constant clean up of the system is required sir aapke ghar mein roz kachra hota hai aapke ghar mein roz kachra wala aake kachra leke jata hai you don't wait for the uh, you know dirt to grow you know to a level that baad mein dekhenge true so i true, think that true. cleaning up of the system on a constant basis is required monitoring on a constant basis is required and also monitoring of a so called independent regulator is required and you yes indeed I, and thank you so much palak and this is the beginning of the story abhi story baki hai because we know baki hai sri bahut baki hai as i told you main chhodne wala nahi hu ye story ko main kahi bhi rahu koi bhi newspaper mein rahu chahe nahi rahu i am going to follow this story up i am truly thoroughly enjoying this and mai isko chhodne wala nahi hu absolutely and, and it's an honor and pleasure to have you on our platform palak i'm sure we're going to have more conversation viewers please please take a moment to think about what palak said see you are putting in your mutual funds 50000 60000 a year how much does this book cost 499 and it's only 200 pages and it's a breezy read palak tells you like you know step by step he tells you what happened until you understand the kind of gross mismanagement nse and its management has done with blessings from sebi and from the finance ministry you will not understand the kind of danger your money is in please understand this i have been saying this again and again and again when i was on a book release tour of my c company book i was telling everywhere don't be greedy just because somebody says he'll give you 3 fourth and 4 percent more don't go and put it there there's a risk which is much much higher so anyway thank you so much palak and we'll be back again very very soon with more interesting developments this is just the beginning thank you so much thank Namaskar. you sri thank you very much thank you very much